what's going on YouTube? Q you back here again with another video. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how I'm affording all these cars that I get. So we're gonna briefly go over 10 things that we do to afford all these cars. I'm gonna be accompanied by my wife Melanie, so she's a huge part of this. So greetings to you all. We're down here in Montego Bay, Jamaica, celebrating our 10 year anniversary. So that's why I haven't posted a video for the last week. Alright, so I'm about to spill all the beans of what we do to afford these cars. So before you leave the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and bell. Let's hop into the video. video because I get asked this question a lot on YouTube, off YouTube, like people just want to know how I get these cars, so I'm going to give you all the things that I got. I'm not going to go into great detail though because things are personal, so I'm going to start with the 10 things that I do to afford these cars, and number one, I'm an electrical engineer, I work in the automotive field for almost 10 years now, and engineers get paid a decent salary, and my wife Melanie, she also has a career as well. I'll let her tell you what she does. So professionally, I am an accountant and I work as a certified fraud examiner. And we both make about the same salary-wise. We're like neck and neck. So basically take either one of our salaries and double it. That offers us great opportunity and flexibility to get all these cars. I've had close to 30 cars now. In the last year, I had a Challenger Hellcat Camaro SS1 LE. I have a Mustang GT350. We have a 2020 Blazer RS, we have a 2021 Blazer RS, we have a Camaro ZL1 on order, that's all just this year alone. Number two, as I previously said, I work as a certified product examiner. However, recently I decided to walk away from my corporate job to focus on our family owned business. We own a lot care hair products brand. excellent credit she has excellent credit so every time we go to get finance for a loan we get the best rate it makes it easy to finance these cars I get the best rate the longest terms and, and I don't, zero, zero down payment zero. Excellent credit. So, don't have to put anything down so if you don't have excellent credit if your credit isn't the best you, you definitely want to look into figuring out how to prepare to repair your credit so this is free money out there like I've gotten cars for like 72 month loans for zero percent interest and that's the same as cash, so yeah. definitely do yourself a favor work on that credit. The number four way that I'm able to afford these cars, and somebody mentioned it in a few videos, and uh, say, oh, why would you buy that car where you can buy real estate? Have yeah, real estate, been there, done that, like five properties so far, like a few, like only two personal properties, three rentals, and I was able to profit off everything. So real estate has really helped me, like especially in my area, just when I bought my house till now, like I have so much in equity and the value has increased so much. Like, yeah, I'm gonna sit on real estate, so I don't need real estate. I, I haven't invested now because it's a terrible time to buy because everything is insanely expensive. So, we, we do real estate, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, shout out to the guys who made that happen. Yeah, you're smart too. You're, you're smart too. We know you're smart. Yeah, yeah. So the number five is the great to afford these cars. The profit 
investments that we made in real estate, we put that in the stock market. And like during the pandemic, like the market was at its highest, then it crashed. We were able to catch the bottom like in March of 2020. And we just let that rise. So we do long term, which is what we hold for the rest of our lives and we'll pass that on to our kids. We do short term, which we use options to help expedite that to put back into our long term investments. And then we also do day trading. So like you said, we use a few different platforms, we use a few different brokerage companies to trade with. Specifically, we use Robinhood. If you guys are interested in receiving a free share of stock through Robinhood, we will leave a link in the description below. All you guys have to do is click on the link and sign up and you'll receive your free share. It's, it's that simple. You don't even have to begin trading or um, contribute any money to the account just yet. Just sign up and you'll receive your free share. So we'll definitely leave that link below to help you guys out. Go ahead and check it out. So the number 16 that allows us to buy these cars, we have dual incomes. It just makes everything so easy. Just two incomes is better than one. Some couples believe that, hey, once, once you're married or once you're you know, living together, it's fine to just live off of one income, just, you know, especially after you have children. And I, I agree with that. However, I think that both partners should contribute to the household financially. And even it, it doesn't mean necessarily mean that you have to work at nine to five. You know, you can be an entrepreneur and you can find a way to contribute to the financial responsibilities of the household. So dual income is it's the way to go. So the number seven thing that we do to afford these cars is using credit cards and cashback to be more specific. Like I've had more credit cards than I've had cars, believe it or not. Even with an excellent credit score, like. I get dinged on the hard inquiries, but that's not heavy on your credit report. The longevity of your credit accounts and just on-time payments, that's what matters most. So inquiries, hard inquiries, they, they matter a little. And I do, I get new credit cards all the time. So if there is a, uh, a new credit card, like, oh, if you spend 3,000 within three months, we'll give you 750 cash back. Like, why not do that? I'm going to spend it anyway. So what I do, what we do, we put everything on the credit cards, every bill, every everything that we can put on the credit card, all of it goes to the credit card. And I prefer credit cards to debit cards because like they uh, debit cards, if someone steals your identity, you have to file a police report, go to your bank, and it takes days. And you, they can wipe out your account. But with a credit card, you dispute that, and they're like, all right, here's your here's a new card. Like, you're good to go. And it's like less of a hassle. Uh, the balances are better and like the cash back rewards i use that to buy modifications for my cars too so it helps with the channel and also as far as putting everything on our credit cards as soon as we make these purchases with our credit cards we immediately pay it off with our debit card so we're not accumulating more interest on our credit cards it's, you know we're almost using it like cash yeah. the transaction make the transaction with the credit card pay that off with the debit card immediately that way interest does not accumulate and you won't have to pay that and you still get the points back on the card yeah and that's where most people go wrong with credit cards they let the balance sit there and the interest rate on the credit card is insane 13 percent is a low interest rate on the credit card which is asinine and like 20 percent is very common so you definitely want to knock that out as soon as possible like don't carry credit card debt because it's the difference between like simple interest like on the home equity line of credit versus like amortized credit interest that like a regular credit card or a car loan payment. So keep that in mind. So number eight, YouTube. I'm monetized on YouTube, get paid when I post videos on YouTube. YouTube helps me to reinvest that money back into the channel. Like I pay, I used to pay for all my car stuff too, just like the credit card. So YouTube helps me out. Thanks Google. AdSense, get on YouTube, get monetized. So the number nine way that I afford these cars, I'm an active seller on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Like if I see something around the house that has that I'm not using or she's not using, put it straight on there and sell it. Like it's, it's just wasted money just sitting there. So I, I like a minimalistic type of lifestyle. So if I'm not using it, I say get rid of it. So all the time I'm selling stuff on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. So the number 10 and final thing that I want to put on this list of how I afford these cars have to be able to buy these cars properly like hand sticker price or buying used like it's a bunch of different strategies every time i buy a car like i'm doing research to see what the market is and i'm seeing how much i can sell it for as soon as i buy it and when i'm owning the car i'm checking it out the values periodically like my hellcat i sold that really fast the value went up fast and i sold that
that with the Camaro really fast. And then buying the Camaro, I bought that with a bunch of rebates. I traded in the Mustang, which gave me an extra $3,000 as one single rebate using employee discounts help. And me being in the automotive field, I get to use pretty much any automotive employer discount. So the employee discounts, that'll basically help me take care of the first year depreciation, which is the hardest hit of depreciation on the car. So that's how I can buy and sell a car within one year or less of owning. I just buy the property so I can sell it. And somebody asked in the last video, like, how much did I lose? The car that I lost on recently, the only car I lost on within the last year was the Camaro. Hellcat profited, the SI profited, Blazer profited. Like, I'm, I'm not losing money on these car transactions. Not all the time. And right now, the GT 50, I'm sitting pretty on that. So if I wanted to sell it now, I'll still come out with right, So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're about to get out here. Enjoy this sun. It's good beach life out here. Right. <laughs>